Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and... Whoa! Do you hear that? Is it that time of the year already? Yeah, the Linux Game Jam 2018 is upon us, and I couldn't be more excited! I've spent the last few months thinking about the Linux Game Jam and how we can improve the experience for everyone participating this year, and I think I've come up with something fun. Last year we didn't have a theme, but many of the participants said that they wanted one. So for this year's Game Jam, I wanted to keep it loose, but I also wanted to give you guys a theme. And the theme I chose was versatile verbs. So what does that mean exactly? Well, the concept is pretty simple. If your character can jump, then he should be able to jump in many different ways. You know, tapping the A button results in a short jump, while holding the jump button results in a much higher jump. But it also means that different mechanics can interact with each other in various ways. For example, jumping while crouched could mean doing a backflip. Or if you have enough forward momentum, it could lead to a long jump. Now obviously I'm borrowing a lot of inspiration here from the Super Mario games, but it could be anything. The way your car boosts in Rocket League, or you know, the way the time mechanics in Braid work. For more on this subject, I highly recommend you check out Mark Brown's Game Maker's Toolkit. That's where I first heard of this term, and he does a great job of explaining it. There's a video about versatile verbs up here and down in the description. Now for the details. The jam starts this Friday morning, that's April 6th, and the jam ends 11.59.59, Saturday the 14th, that's Eastern Standard Time. Now, you have a full nine days to work on your submission. This time, the submissions will be ranked by judges. That's right, this year we have judges. Now, uh, it's gonna be really cool, this is how it works. Everyone who joins the jam, whether you submit something or not, you'll be able to vote on which games you like the best. I'll be playing games for the whole week and I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash Zondak. So make sure you head over there and uh, watch to participate. Once the jam ends, the judges and I will have a roundtable discussion about which games stood out to us and the judges will pick their own top tens. It's pretty exciting, especially since we have Brian Lunduk, Wendell from Level 1 Techs, Cassidy from Elementary OS, and a few others uh, who haven't responded yet to my messages, guys. I'm waiting to hear back from them, but it's, it should be a good time. There are no losers by any means, uh, as I'm sure each judge will have their own unique list of games that they liked. But we'll take all the judges' lists, we'll put them together, and we'll see which ones come out on top, and then I'm going to try to interview the people or teams that submitted the best content. Alright, so let's talk about the rules. Number one, be as creative as you can be. Think outside the box, redefine the word versatile. I like silly things, so be silly. Your game's programming needs to be done within the time frame of the jam. You can use any engine you want, even your own custom one that you developed outside the jam. Your game must be submitted to the official itch.io game jam page before the end of the day, April 14th. Your game must have a Linux build. Now, there was a bit of confusion about this. As long as it runs on Linux and it's not using Wine, it's, it's good. Your game's itch page should have a brief summary of your mechanics, and clear instructions on installation, dependency requirements, and how to run the game. Now this is a rule because the judges and I are going to be trying perhaps as many as 50 to 100 games, and we don't have time to troubleshoot them all. So make sure you make things as clear as possible. Your game must use assets that you created or that are freely licensed. While you can use freely licensed sprites, I'd encourage you to use original sprites. If you're not really that creative, you can find artists in the community tab to work with. And with that being said, you're allowed to work in teams. Head over to the community section and see if people want to team up. And finally, just like last year, you get exactly one bonus point if your game is open source and is developed with open source tools. Also, bonus points are meaningless. Cool, so now we're cooking. Uh, check out the link to the official itch page down in the description join the community and team up. If you're an artist with no coding skills, let people know you want to help. And the same goes for coders with no artistic persuasion. I can't wait to see what you guys make and here's to another year of the Linux Game Jam. But what do you think? Do you plan to submit a game? Leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. If you like this idea and the work that I do, consider becoming a patron over on Patreon or LibrePay. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.